Hello everyone. It's me Kumar Sonal and I will not say that after a very long time to see I have some work to do and uh, this is why I was uh, unavailable here. But today I will be discussing something really important about uh, immunity or you may say immune system. Because see in this corona period we must know what is exactly this immunity right see immunity means the body's defense system okay and uh, you all know that uh, we humans have the uh, blood which is uh, no doubt a buffer solution of uh, wbcs rbcs and platelets right platelets means this is the very substance which uh, clots our blood when it uh, flows uh, through a cut or when we get a wound okay suppose i hit myself somewhere and uh, i got a wound here or anywhere in my body then the thing what happens is see the bacteria the microbes these microscopic particles enters through our wounds or cut etc okay so humans have two types of immunity okay one is inner immunity or innate immunity so innate immunity is a first line defense of our body okay like i mean it comprises of skin the skin keeps out majority of pathogens okay then next comes the mucus mucus traps the pathogens and then our stomach acid it destroys the pathogen we have uh, hydrochloric acid in our stomach right but it also helps in the digestion of food uh, which we eat okay and the next come enzymes in our tears in our sweat helps create antibacterial compounds okay and then comes the immune system cells which helps attacking these foreign agents okay i mean these microbes these bacteria okay and this one is the innate immunity okay all these things comprises of the innate immunity then next comes the adaptive or acquired immunity okay here uh, see huh, you might have heard the word machine learning in google right in google they are working in this thing machine learning this is what exactly happens with our body okay i mean in this particular case that is adaptive immunity see it is actually a system which learns to recognize the pathogens okay and then it get habitual to it with a more efficient way see what happens is like uh, around uh, 1995 polio was uh, at its height so that time the polio vaccination boosted the immune system of our body okay these are those uh, components which gradually learn to fight the polio viruses so what happened was that when next times the polio virus enters the body it automatically gets activated that oh it is the enemy it aims it and destroys it i hope uh, you are enjoying this video and if you are enjoying then don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are new to it and uh, hit the bell icon nearby to get the latest videos notification early so hope uh, you have understood both these types okay that is the innate immune system and the adaptive one okay see the adaptive one is uh, like uh, we are hiring someone okay we are hiring someone for our security it is what the adaptive immune system is and the innate one is our own strength to fight the bacteria or the virus okay or whatever is that pathogen pathogen means that foreign agent which arrives for our destruction now see we must understand some important terms like antigens 
okay pathogens i have just cleared now let us discuss about antigens what are these so antigens are the substances which the body has already labeled that these are the foreign elements that means whenever antigen will enter our body the immune system will automatically get activated to destroy it okay simple so next comes allergen it is also one type of antigen which uh, is a type of grass pollen or dust okay like this so see what happens is when antigens enters our body then sometimes it causes a hyper reactive reaction okay so a huge amount of wbcs are released by our body to destroy it it is just like a uh, indo pak war okay you can understand it uh, this way both the armies fight one another one party wins and the other automatically loses and see people's sensitivity to the same antigens varies widely i mean uh, see uh, someone might get fevers okay cough and cold very quickly while some other person may not get any cough and cold like system in these days because his immune system is more powerful more active see uh, many of us have problems of inflammation right so see it is a normal process of our innate immune system let me make this thing more clear to you see what happens is when pathogens attack our healthy cells and tissues then our immune cell called mast cells get activated in counter attacking these pathogens and in this process it releases a protein called histamine okay and that inflammation is caused due to this very protein which is called histamine okay see as a result of inflammation we may develop pain swelling and a release of fluid which is actually the release of these pathogens okay every human being or every living being except the trees plants etc they all urinate right so what actually happens in urination we flush out the bad materials right in a liquid form we just flush out those things in the same way through these inflammations a fluid is also flushed out it is actually that fluid which contains the pathogen which is released by the body like this okay however prolonged inflammation is uh, bad for our health and it may destroy the healthy tissues etc so we need a doctor immediately in that particular case okay i think uh, it's the time to sum up this entire content so see basically what happens is people focuses on one particular thing like it may be diet or it may be the exercises but actually if you really want to protect yourself from all these outer agents then you need to amalgamate these exercises your proper diet on a daily basis to live a healthy and a good life right okay so for now i'm signing off keep watching toss and be connected with me it's me kumar sonal signing off take care and bye bye we'll meet soon in a next video which will be more exciting so till then keep watching toss bye bye